Along with the arrival of warm weather, Mother Nature gives us a large population of bugs. Now you know ticks cause Lyme disease, but did you know that it also affects dogs and people? And recent studies show an increase in Lyme disease in humans, so are we also seeing an increase in our dogs as well? Lyme disease is named after the town of Lyme, Connecticut, where it first was reported in the 70s. This disease has been diagnosed in people since 1975 and in dogs since 1984. Although the disease is more prevalent on the eastern coastline, it has been diagnosed in all 50 states. The most common species of ticks that transmit Lyme disease in North America are the black-legged or deer tick and the western black-legged tick. Lyme disease affects animals differently. Some show no signs of infection. Others show mild to pretty severe symptoms like lethargy, joint pain, limping, lymph node swelling, and fever. Symptoms appear in dogs at about two to five months following infection. While both people and dogs can be infected with Lyme disease, it can only be transmitted by the tick. We know that it does not transmit human to human, dog to dog, and dog to human. All dogs are at risk of contracting this quiet illness. New studies by the CDC reflect that actual cases of Lyme disease in dogs are probably underreported because so many dogs go untested for tick-borne illness. Dogs are also at higher risk of infection because of their exposure to the outdoors is much greater than ours. Even though Lyme disease is on the rise, there is good news. Only 1% of all tick bites result in Lyme disease and early intervention often leads to successful treatment. As a veterinarian, I can tell you prevention is the best method of protecting your pets. Easy to use topical products and collars cause a disruption of feeding and ticks fall off before the 48 hour infection period. Daily grooming can eliminate the tick before it has time to attach and transmit the disease. Look for ticks following outings in wooded or grassy or brushy areas. Safely remove any ticks found on your dog immediately. Get preventive products from your veterinarian and be wary of over-the-counter medications. Many of these products are not safe on all pets. Also, I would be wary of any online pet pharmacy selling tick control products. You just don't know if they are handled or stored properly. Veterinarians do have a Lyme disease vaccine, but recommend it only to be used for dogs in high-risk areas or those who live in Lyme endemic areas. So as spring arrives, be on the lookout for those pesky ticks ready to move in on your dog. Eliminate this ticking time bomb by protecting your dogs from Lyme disease. For the Veterinary News Network, I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys.